This devotional is called Whispering Distance. Jesus said, But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. From John 16, verse 13. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he put his cloak over his face. 1 Kings 19, verses 12 and 13. In our senior years, my wife Nancy and I have had to face the challenge of memory impairment. We're both trying to effectively manage everyday living. We decided it would be best for us to order medic alert bracelets, which gives 24-hour phone numbers that may be called if anyone should discover either of us in a distress situation. After several website visits and discussing our plans for 10 weeks, the day finally arrived, I was to call in the order. An extensive questionnaire had to be filled out first, and then I called the California office. I felt stress over this phone call, but increasingly I've been learning to pray about everything, even everyday affairs. I prayed the Lord would give me the right counselor on the phone. In a positive, compassionate, one-hour conversation, the most wonderful counselor got the information she needed, answered our questions, and in less than a week we had our engraved bracelets. Every spring, Nancy decorates our lawn and gardens with live flowers she buys and plants. After thoroughly doing this last spring, she felt a compulsion to buy more flowers whenever she saw a sale on leftover flowers. After several days of such purchases, she arrived home again to show me one more flower. I felt tempted to explain, honey, too many flowers, extra work, and the flower budget has been spent. But I paused and I asked God, what do you want me to say? And I heard a whisper. Rejoice with her over her flower. Tell her how pretty it is. Don't worry about one more flower. It made her happy. And besides, it doesn't cost that much. So we rejoice together. You see, I read in Samuel Logan Brengel's devotional book, Take Time to Be Holy. Now, if you want to keep the blessing of entire sanctification, you must constantly lift your heart to God for light, not only in the crises of life, but in all its details. By practice, you can get into the habit of this, and it will become natural for you as much as breathing. Keep within whispering distance of God always. That's what I want to do. Keep within whispering distance of God always.